Hello, I'm the author of the LFA Scene Manager and I'm going to teach you a little bit about its basic functions uh, which are to get art content out of Maya and into Ogre. So before I begin, I want to say that there's a little help file included. If you hit help instructions, it'll open up the script editor and we'll print out instructions about the main aspects of the tools and also descriptions of all the included tools. You can see each thing has a little description of all the sub tools. So here I have uh, this banana. I'm done with my model and I want to get it into Ogre. This particular uh, model has made out of a couple parts, several parts. So first thing I need to do is grab my export folder right here and copy the export path into the LFA tools. I know you can hit browse here but um, I always find copy paste is a little bit safer. So I have my model ready, my export path. I hit export all and I got a warning and da da nothing happens. The fact that nothing happens is a feature. How is this a feature? The LFA tools are designed to allow you to use Maya basically as a level editor or a scene editor. The, the idea is to relieve you from having to build and maintain a scene editor yourself using Ogre. Uh, mind you, you don't have to use the LFA tools this way. You can use it to just export individual models, but I designed it to be used this way as a level editor. And if you keep this in mind, it might help you understand why certain things are designed the way they are. So keeping that workflow in mind, imagine like you're working on your application, and as your scene, your scene gets more and more complex, you're going to find that you're going to start accumulating uh, working geometry, uh, things that aren't meant to export, like maybe past versions of models or maybe recyclable geometry, like things that help you build other things, but that aren't meant to export themselves. Uh, maybe style guides, sizing guides, whatever. Basically things that you don't want to export but help you, help you in your scene. So now I'm pretty sure you can imagine how accidentally having these types of things export uh, into a real scene could cause subtle bugs or problems or even ship with a title and hurt performance or something bad so the LFA tools always assume that there's working geometry in the scene that should not be exported therefore the tools require you to explicitly identify any objects you want to export hence the tag for export button here that's why having nothing export by default is a feature so let's tag this piece for export. You'll notice that the tool changes and now lets me specify some options for it. If you want to know more about the options you can just hover over each one and it'll tell you more or of course you can look at the docs. But now you can also window select objects and tag them all for export at once. But I don't recommend doing it this way because it leaves the chance that you might tag something to export that you didn't intend to especially in a complex scene however this is this is a simple scene so let's just select everything and tag everything to export so when I tag something for export what is it actually doing it's assigning the object export parameters I mentioned this in the docs too so so what are export parameters export parameters are attributes added to the object just like translate rotate scale XYZ except they're hidden this is how the tools differentiate between working geometry, things that you didn't tag for export and don't want exported to your application, and things you did tag and want in your application. So when you click remove tag, the added attributes are changed in a way that makes the exporter ignore them, but it doesn't actually remove them. However, if you think that you're having trouble with an object and you think it's related to the tools, you can use a tool here called hard delete parameters what this does is it actually deletes off the attributes from the object that the LFA tools added it'll reset it to the way it was before it was ever touched by the LFA tools so let's tag this peel part of the banana for export again and let's look at some of the options the main ones you're going to use are these in the center the one up here and these two down here are related to the dot scene which I'll cover in a different tutorial however these in the middle um, actually affect the export of the object itself from Maya. So let's export selected. And the mesh dot mesh now appears in the folder. Now in these tutorials I'm going to be using Ogre Max Viewer for previewing and let's see how this loads. 
The geometry seems to export properly but has no material. I'll be covering how to control your materials in the material tutorial.